All right. Uh, well, my name is Ken Vandermark, and I'm going to be playing tonight at the Media Tech here in Charlois. And I've been asked to talk about a few recordings or films that are in the collection. And I thought it might be a good idea to pick some things that I'm interested in that relate a little bit to Belgium. And the first thing is a great recording, which you won't be able to see too well, <laughs> by uh, Miles Davis. Uh, the soundtrack to Louis Malle's film, Lift to the Scaffold, in the English uh, translation. And Barney Wilhelm plays on that soundtrack. And I think it's a remarkable album because it precedes uh, Kind of Blue by about a year or so. And it anticipates a lot of what happens on that record, and it's not very well known. Um, and it's an extraordinary document. And you can hear the early ideas about modal music coming together. And uh, the performances are extraordinary. And this is like super avant-garde. I mean, it's very atmospheric music, very moody music, like Kind of Blue is. But it's so advanced. And the musicians are so relaxed on it. And Bar Barney Willan plays amazing. And you hear Kenny Clark playing with Miles Davis at that time. I mean, there's so many things about it that are fantastic. So I thought I'd highlight that because it's in the collection and it's incredible. And it's like Kind of Blue. If you like Kind of Blue, you should check that record out. And it's a whole new world of stuff in relation to that. And another record which is totally different and not connected to Belgium per se, but is uh, Bernard uh, Parmigiani's uh, Natura Sonorum, this record. Uh, I've been listening to it a lot at home recently. Uh, it was recommended to me by another Chicago musician, Kevin Drum, who works with electronics and uh, recordings and tape music and all kinds of things. He's a brilliant, brilliant uh, musician. And he suggested this record a while ago, and I've been listening to it for about 10 years on a very regular basis. And the thing that's great about it for me is it, it's, let's say, electronic music, tape music, a combination of the two, perhaps. But it takes very specific components of music, like a certain kind of sound, and then Parmigiani manipulates it. And you can really see or hear how he's doing that does it in such surprising ways with so much tension that it constantly uh, is engaging. You can't predict what he'll do, but it's one of those things that I find fascinating when someone can do it well, is it's like they're looking at the idea with you and ex exploring it and moving it around and you can see that process, you can see the thinking process or hear it in the case of this music. And um, I find it fascinating because I, I can't really do that. <laughs> in my own music, um, I'm moving quickly uh, from idea to idea. I have like maybe a short attention span. So I love music that's very different than mine, like Parmigiani's. And this is a high-level version of that, where the exploration of a single idea exposes a whole landscape or universe. And I'm like the opposite side, where I'm moving from landscape to landscape very, very quickly. And the last thing I picked is a film by Chantal Ackerman, uh, Jean Dielman, which I've been meaning to watch for many years and finally saw it for the first time this year. And I've watched it several times since then. It's a complete masterpiece. Um, and it deals visually in some ways to what I was talking about with Parmigiani. It's like a visual version of looking at an idea and seeing it break apart or de be de deconstructed. And when I first saw the film, uh, part of the beauty is like, of these experiences for me is like, oh, okay, I get it, you know. It's this place camera, and we're watching this woman work in her house, and every shot is a, is a, and so I'm fascinated by film, so of course my brain's working like when I listen to music, it's like, okay, what are they doing? How are they doing it? Like, I can't kind of prevent myself from doing that and just watch or just listen, and my brain starts kicking in. And I can't remember at what point, but the very beginning of the film, she's in the kitchen, and there's a table in the kitchen with two chairs. And about 10 minutes later, or maybe a little bit more than that, 
is a shot of the kitchen. And of course, every shot is in exactly the same place. And then you say, um, and you're engaged visually because not much is happening, so you're looking at her do what she does. And then I have a funny feeling about the shot. And I'm like, oh, is it slightly moved? Or... And then I realize there's only one chair. And I thought, there were two chairs there before. And okay, I cheated. Because, <laughs> you know, when it was first made, of course, you watch it in the cinema. And you're, you're given this information as she gives it to you. But with a DVD, you can rewind it. And I brought it back to the scene, and there were two chairs. And I thought, OK, I have no idea what's going on here. You're, you're back in the kitchen. Well, what happens now? now the two chairs are back? And now something's not working right. And now something's burning on the stove. You know? And this, this m breakdown is, is illustrated just visually. And the interior process is given to you visually in such an incredible way. And that informs what I do. Like I've thought about that film and I've thought about, because I improvise and I also write compositions for improvisers. And I've thought a lot about, well, how do you make a composition where you bring the audience back to the same shot, like in a film, um, and you present them with the same, let's say, compos composed material, and they're hearing it again with the same kind of feeling of the Ackerman film we're like, okay, well, we're back here again. We've been here. But then they realize, okay, you're looking at it from a different point of view slightly. And to translate that into music is very, very difficult. And so because all those things are so different than the way I work, they, they really inspire me to find new, new methods. So that's my presentation.